In this video guide I will show you how you can import Marmoset scenes directly from Marmoset into Unreal Engine. So what you need for this exercise or for this video tutorial is to download and install Unreal Engine and Marmoset tool bag. Now you can do this from the original website, you can download and for this particular exercise you will need version 4.25 because the latest version of uh, Unreal Engine, which is 4.26, doesn't work with this plugin yet. So you need to have the previous version. So this is Marmoset uh, Toolbar for those ones you don't, who don't know. It's uh, used to create textures and materials, pretty realistic textures and materials. And you can also create very interesting rendering inside the... Um, the software itself. Now you cannot model, you cannot create 3D models with Marmoset, but you can create them, for example, using Madbox, and then you can use, uh, well, you can use Madbox also, but also you can use Marmoset to create more realistic um, textures. Now, if you want to see uh, video course about Marmoset, and we are probably gonna publish that in the future, or maybe Armor Paint, which is another uh, similar tool and it's completely free. So you can search for in our channel, you will find a video guide on how to install Armor Paint, free open source. And also if you go in the playlist, you can find here at the top, some video courses about 3D modeling, like Madbox, Fluid Ray, Cinema 4D, 3ds Max and others. Okay, so once you've finished to download anything, you can open up Marmoset and you can go here in the window library and you will find some sample scenes. So I have downloaded some of these scenes here. So you find uh, materials, skies, uh, smart mask and so on. But in the scenes here, let me try with this other one with you. So this is a, a scene with the uh, fox. So I'm gonna just save these. So I will save this save scene as a tool bag scene. And let's call this animated fox. Okay. So let's call anim fox here. There you go. Now this is animated. If you want to go, if you want to see it's animated, you need the timeline. So this is another thing you can do with Marmoset, like checking this nice animation real time rendered all right so we have, we exported everything we could well basically we didn't export we just save in the tool bag format in the marmoset tool bag now all we need to do is to install a plugin in a real engine so let me show you from the epic games launcher uh, where you can get this plugin you just need to go to the marketplace and here you will search for the plugin for Marmoset. All right, there you go. As you can see, I already installed it, but if you, if you didn't, probably you have to go here and say install to engine. Uh, it's telling me that it's already installed, so we cannot do more than that. And also here you have some reviews and uh, other description of what it does and it does not. All right, so you can see it will export everything, including materials and textures and so on, which can be then uh, modified and edited inside a real engine. Now, again, you need the version 4.25. So if you don't have it, go here to a real engine and you can download uh, the other versions. So here you can go to the library and select other versions, but in this case, I will, I'm using the 4.25. So you're gonna launch once this is downloaded and installed the version. And hopefully in the uh, near future, we will see also Marmoset for the version 4, 4.26. All right, now this is uh, already, I already imported this one from Marmoset. So I will do another import with you. And to, before I actually can open up Marmoset scenes directly into uh, Unreal Engine, I need to activate the plugin that I am 
installed from the launcher. So if I scroll down, I will show you here where the plugin is. And there it is, it's there. So it's already installed. If it's not, it's going to show up here that you can install it. So click here, make sure that you have installed the plugin. And then you have to go inside Unreal Engine, go to the settings, plugins, and you have to make sure that this one is on, it's activated. So check this on and it's going to ask you to restart Unreal Engine to use it. So you're going to restart everything. And when you will come back, this will be activated with this checkbox. All right, you can see also, you can use Substance, which is a similar tool, a similar uh, software. All right, now let's close this. And once you did all of that, you just go here. Well, you can import, or you can go also from the content browser directly, say import, and just select the Marmoset scene. You don't need to do any export, import. It's just a direct uh, selection of the file here. And there you go. So now you have to choose here if you want to import this as a blueprint. Now everything is perfectly described. So this is telling you that everything will be imported into the scene and it's going to create a blueprint for the entire scene and only import the materials of the file. So this is, I think it's only going to bring the materials or you can just put the objects directly into the scene and only materials also from here. So well, you can make your experiments. In this case, I will select into the scene material options. Yes, I want to direct import and uh, it's going to ask you for the metalness conversion of some uh, materials. So you can say, okay, just treat everyone as metal or generate metalness map or ask me each material what I want to do. And you can choose if you want to import lights as well or not. And also where you have to store this into the uh, folder so you can change in the content folders where you want to store everything. Now I'm going to leave everything as it is and say, okay, import all. All right. Now it's telling me, well, there is a material here and this has no metalness. So what you want to do here, you want to treat this as an insulator or treat as metal. Well, uh, I think this, this could be like a metal. So let's say, okay, treat as a metal and okay. There is one material that is not supported. Okay. And also here it's asking me for these credits and this other material here. Well, I don't know if these are actually metals or not, but let's import anything. Okay. Now let's see what's happening here. It has imported some stuff. So if I go down in the Word Outliner, I can see this is probably my actor. There it is. And it's not well oriented. So I'm going to rotate this like that. And also it's bringing a lot of stuff here. Probably these are the lights that uh, it's just showing me where they are placed, but I don't believe this will work as lights. So I'm getting rid of everything I don't really need. Let's focus on the fox. And um, these are cameras, maybe. Oh, I accidentally deleted the fox as well. So let me go a little back. No, I have. Okay, let's just get rid of everything and let's get into the content browser and see what's what's happening here. So if I go to meshes, there you go. That's my the 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 object that I really want. And let's bring this up. Oh, it's um, rotated even worse than before. Don't know why that really happened. And well, I just rotate and there it is. This is my character here. And I don't have textures. I don't really know why this happened. So let's go back here and say materials. All right, so I have everything here, um, but everything seems to be empty. And maybe because these are objects created by the Marmoset team. They don't want to probably 
share too much their taxes. So what we can do here is just select the material, which is this one here. All right. Let's see what's happening inside here. Yeah, so this is the, a blank material. Now, if I double click also here, this is the blueprint for the material. And I can see here the metal mass and it's showing me something here in the base color, but it's white. So it definitely didn't bring the texture in scene. I don't really, I don't understand why. So what I have to do is I have to create them myself. So uh, this is not, I hope it doesn't uh, happen. Uh, every time, but this is, let's say, the worst case scenario that can happen so that you have materials but you don't have textures. Uh, so let's check on the... Uh, well, I have to show you where to get the texture from. And I have found out by searching a little bit, they will be stored into your, com your um, uh, main uh, hard disk here program data, go to Marmoset, there you go, library, and scenes, animated fox, contents, assets, there's your texture, so they are a little bit hidden. Well, you want to bring these always with you, so let's copy this, and let's bring them, well, I will just take two, just to make an example and bring them into the actual folder where I have saved my file, but not my textures, probably because they are not linked. So I have to recreate this link and I will copy them here, paste them here because I want to keep everything together and then I will bring them inside Arial Engine, just like that. Now let's save everything and hopefully it will understand that I want to create this material no, nothing happens. So basically I have to do it myself. And let's see if this this is the one here, or perhaps is this other one. Okay, yeah, they they are the same. Now I need to bring this inside. So I will just click and and drop them into this blueprint from my content browser. And I will click and connect these uh, normal into my, no, this is my diffuse. So this is going to go in the base color and the normal map is going to go into the normal. And then I will save my material and hopefully I will see it into the scene. Let's close. There you go. So it's a little bit tricky, but we done it. We imported from Marmoset. And hopefully, again, this is the worst case. I hope that you, uh, well, I think if you create your personal scene here and you save it, it's not gonna give you this problem because you will know where the texture will be. Try to save the textures where you save the actual project. So this is all for this video. Thanks for watching. Please subscribe to the channel and see you in the next video.